Sharon Freeman has gone from leading workouts to leading a $20 million class action lawsuit against her employer, Steve Nash Fitness World. My goal um, by pursuing this is to show people that we do have a right to speak up, that we shouldn't be muzzled by an employer or anybody. The suit alleges, among other things, a systematic failure to properly pay wages. The company denies the claims, which have not been proven in court. This comes about a year after a $7.5 million settlement in a similar class action against Good Life Fitness. Gyms and the fitness industry in particular are sort of like petri dishes or hotbeds for, for exploitation because they contain both of those things. A lack of information and misinformation and just rampant misclassification. Employment lawyer Leah Moody, who's not involved in either case, says employees in the fitness and gym industry are often misclassified as contractors. For years, this industry operated on the basis that recruitment and consultation and prep time were things that you just didn't get paid for. It was the cost of doing business. And uh, it's quite clear, according to Employment Standards Acts across the country, that these are work functions and they need to be paid. Experts say it's a problem plaguing several sectors where wages are low and fear of losing a job is high. In B.C., recent labor code changes, the first in nearly two decades, added protections for workers but still fall short, according to the B.C. Federation of Labor. What we've asked for in, the, in our budget submission is uh, $26 million be invested into the employment standards, particularly for employment standards officers to be able to help with this. The first ever union contract in the North American fitness industry was ratified less than two years ago at Good Life Fitness in Ontario, partly in response to employee complaints about labour violations. People that are ESL or maybe, you know, not quite adept to understanding, those people get really taken advantage of and it's a shame. It's a shame, shame on employers that do that. Freeman says she hopes her own lawsuit will help lead to systemic change so she and her colleagues can focus on carrying weights at the gym rather than the burden of having to work for free to meet their job requirements. Neetu Garcha, Global News.